But today we're going to go to the Museum of Aviation at Robbins Air Force Base in Georgia. And this year the Air Force is 75 years old. So. Well, we'll see. This place is pretty awesome. Okay, here's where we're going to start a tour. This is the World War II. This place starts at. Mm. P-40N. Curtis Warhawk. Fourteenth Air Force, Kunming, China, nineteen forty-three. These natives really helped the crewmen when they went down. Wow. The lighting on this is just awesome. Look at the lighting on this. One quarter ton. T6 Texan. Yes, oh. We got a schedule board in here. First, third, fifth, and you got second, fourth, sixth, and and we'll end. This museum is. It's really pretty. Mm. Armed forces. I've never seen something like that before. Cut out like that. Maybe the pilot. Look at where the, the gunner sits. Right up here in front. The bomb, bombard, is that word bomb, bombard, bombardier. bombardier. Mm -hmm. Korea. Oh, yeah. Count down there, Hiroshima. Rosie the Riveter. Huh? Army nurse uniform. Over there. Yeah, I bet. Oh, wow. I wonder who this guy is. F-15 Eagle. F-15 Eagle. Oh, look at one up there in the sky. Wow. Yeah. This is a cool hangar. This is a cool hangar. This is the Eagle hangar. We got a store. We better go in there and look. Probably go around here. Yeah. We've got a nice gift shop. Buy all kinds of stuff in here. But we find something here we, we gotta have. Flying high. Our United States flag. One. Oh, there's the A-10. Oh, we thought the A-10 was an awesome plane. Built the, built the plane to fit the engines. Warner Robbins. Over here and see what we got over here. Oh, 
I have the 50th Air Force plaque. That's pretty cool. The Blue Star Memorial. Tribute to the armed forces that have defended the United States of America. Gold Star Museum. Tribute to the Gold Star families who loved, loved ones paid the ultimate price defending the United States of America. Thank you, men and women, for serving in this great country's military. Mm. Look how big that building is right there. Let's go here the this exhibit hangar. I like these mats out here. I'm gonna get one of these mats. Hmm. Here are the airplanes out here. The jet flying. Hmm. Hey, we can be up. Come on. Pilot, if you want. Iowa flag. Uh, this guy here is Eugene Bullard, first African American fighter pilot. Born in 1895, died in 1961 in Georgia. Wow. Pretty cool. Warner Robins. This is hangar number two. And this one is called, let's see here, Century of Flight Hanger. But over there, number three is Scott Exhibit Hanger. Do they all have restrooms? upstairs, maybe. I bet they do upstairs, maybe. I don't know. Innovation. India craft, second largest. Fourth most visited DOD museum. Hmm. 130 over there. I believe he lost his wings. Ooh, they got Thunderbird. Thunderbird F 16 over there. Yes. Air Force Reserve. Team Robbins. Big drone, man. I don't know what that one there is. Then the birds. Wow. United States Air Force. Thunderbirds, flying Falcon, F-16. Yeah. Huh. The 
Eighteen. B1 bomber. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just love the A-10s. That gun on there. Warthog. A-10 Warthog. Yeah. Jack is standby. We can see how big this airplane is. She's not very big. It's a B-52 Strata Fortress. It's an awesome plane. I've actually, we've actually seen this plane take off and land a few times at air show at Patrick. And there she is. Those tires are almost as big as you. Wow, where are you at? Oh, there you are. Right there is Robbins Air Force Base, right there. That's where we're staying at fam camp. Yeah, we should have. No, we gotta go off base to go to the museum now. U.S. Air Force tail number 50085. Take that thing. Wow. See, I'm standing. I'm standing 50 feet away from it. Yeah, it's it's huge. The C-141. They're not even in the service anymore. I flew on one of these oh, a few years back, a long time ago, probably 30 years ago. We got some AM2 Maddie down there. Wow. C 141C Star Adapter. 500 mile an hour. Unlimited within flight fuel. Pretty big airplane now. Look how big that engine is. Wow. Huh. So here's the, look at the WB66D destroyer. Yeah. Feeling the, uh, Douglas WB66D destroyer. Wow. 19, first flew in 1954. Oh, ended in 1958. They built 294 of these. It's kind of a different looking airplane, different jet. Air Material Command. Four props on. Now the new one got six prop. All different engines. I've flown miles in one of these. Over the ocean, a couple times. That's a long ride over the ocean on one of these. Pretty dependable though. Well, that's it for the planes out here. We gotta go into one more hangar. Yeah, we've. We've flown on that C-130 probably. Well, I've probably flown on that thing more than any, any uh, other aircraft. I like them. It's always fun to sit up front when they're taking off and landing. That's pretty cool. You can watch them take off and land. When you sit up in there in uh, one of the cockpits. I've done that a, a few times when I went to Japan and other places. See, you went there. What's the backwards open? I've been making these for. Okay, this this aircraft was retired in 2011 after being in 47 years. They first started flying these in 1954, and they're still making them. Wow. Hmm. 
We've got drop tanks on there. And at the back end always open. And this part here drops down. This part here drops down. This part here goes up. You can load it. Load the pallets, whatever you got loading there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> the rock. As you can tell. This is an old Air Force one or two. Probably an Air Force two. I've been a one at one time. Wow. I'm not really sure what these are. Long marine missile. I'm not really sure. Pretty cool though. Whatever that Missouri Air Guard. Huh. KC-971. Wow. KC-97L Straddle Freighter by Boeing. Flight, first flight in 1944. A tanker version of the KC-97. Wow. So this was a tanker. This was in support of said the B-52. Lay it right down here and lower that in. Wow. During the 50s and 60s, the KC-97 tankers were stationed at Robbins Air Force Base, right here where we're at, the 19th Bombardment Wing in support of the B-52 bombers assigned to the wing. This one's a different. I don't know if I ever see with the RB69A Neptune. Two ninety-seven U.S. Air Force. This is really different. Get a full shot of it. Wow, it's got three. In the back, and probably a like an AWAC plane or something. I'm not sure what it is. I have to look and see what it is. But it's pretty, pretty unique. The bottom part. Okay, this is a EC-121K constellation by Lockheed. Warning and control radar surveillance aircraft. Wow, uh, military version of the Lockheed L-1049. They... <laughs> I figured out what, that, on the black one, what the bell icon was, radar. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. Well, I went over to that back, the black underneath part. Huh? And it has the numbers and letters on it. That's the only way I knew. Wow, look at this. <laughs> I bet this plane was really aerodynamic. Gets me, it's got those three things on the back. There's Jan again. But it just shows you how big these planes are. Okay, let's do this. In the military air support. I can do it all the way. C 54G Skymaster, Douglas. Oh, they first flew in 1942 during the course of the war. Hundreds were built in various configurations for passenger, cargo, and medical capabilities. Wow. I've seen this one before. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, here's this one. 
Yeah, I've seen this before. I always can't figure out why they didn't put a finish putting it back in there. I'm sure there's a reason why. Okay, this is the C119 flying box car. Let's go around the back. A retirement 1970 for this one. I got in the military in 1976. I'm just going to show some of the plays were just been taken out of service. Huh. Cool the back. I always thought it was kind of stubby, but they call it a boxcar. Now I see why. Boxcar. Okay, let's go finish inside. Now this one, this one was configured for a troop carrier. Hmm. Yeah, that one over there, that one, what, it says 297, that is really unique. Oh, there's some, oh, there's a boneyard over there, Jan. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They got old air traffic control building over there. Yeah, I can remember when they used to learn that. A few years ago. This place is going to come out for me. This is a Fairchild C-123. Pretty much like the 130, but it's only got one engine on each side. Uh-huh. 